Good afternoon, one and all. Uh, I am uh, intro, uh, Dr. Pravin Borse, Department of Commerce. I introduce uh, today's uh, the third session, uh, Dr. Anil Kumar Bavre, sir. Uh, he is Associate uh, Professor and Head of the Department of Economics and also Vice Principal of the College, uh, Ch uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji College of uh, Satara. Uh, 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 this college are, is, uh, also belongs to um, my Raj Shikshan Samstha. And uh, sir is a chairman of BOS in Economics, Shivaji University, Kolapur. Also chairman in BOS in Economics, Chhatrapati Shivaji College, Satara. Uh, sir is a president of Shivaji University Economic Association, Kolapur. Also member is Academic Council, Shivaji University, Kolapur. And uh, secretary of uh, Academic Council, Shivaji College, Satara. Sir is a Dean of Research, Chhatrapati Shivaji College, Satara, and sir is also member of various BOS uh, Board of Studies in uh, various colleges, uh, for example, Pandarpur, Sangamner, and sir also coordinator of IQAC of his uh, college and uh, coordinator of various programs and members. Uh, sir, sir is completed two minor research project and uh, Sir, uh, uh, published the various books and uh, research papers. For example, uh, uh, 42 books published and uh, edited 24 books, uh, research papers. Uh, I think about 40 research papers published in various popular, uh, popular uh, journals and attended uh, various conference seminars. Sir is a, uh, also a member of various associations and uh, sir achieved the various awards medals and prize i uh, and also most uh, work on uh, also phd guides sir uh, sir uh, under the his guidance four, uh, 11 students are awarded in mpil and uh, four sorry sir five five students awarded in mpils uh, 11 students under the phd completed already and four is pursuing uh, PhD is uh, her guidance. Uh, guidance, sir. Okay, first of all, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, please. I am sorry. Yeah, because I am today. After research, we are going to discuss some topics, sir. To explain, sir. Okay, sir. Please share, sir. Allow, sir. Oh, sir. Allow, sir. Okay. This is visible? Yes, sir. Yes. A very good afternoon to you all. At the outset, I thankful to the organizer of this faculty development program, which is organized under the UGC Paramarsh scheme with the help of Savitribai Phule Pune University's uh, Human Resource Development Center. First of all, I thank you, coordinator my friend, Dr. A.K. Patil, and dear participants. Uh, I think without wasting time, I would present my views on the research design. Because from yesterday, you are listening the different visions uh, of research from different experts from India. So today, I would like to discuss on the research design. Before <clears throat> talking on the research design, in a very short, I would like to uh, focus on what is actually mean by research. Friends, in the research, there are three major goals of every research. To discover new facts or verify and test old facts. We are analyzing their sequences. We are analyzing the interrelationship between the variable uh, different variables and casual explanation. Through research, we are developing new scientific tools, new concepts, new theories. We are from different uh, stratas of the society and we are different uh, faculties. You know that the theories developed by different thinkers, they are true only from research. Uh, some characteristics are also there. Number of characteristics are there, but I would like to tell you three to four characteristics which are very important. Always research 
towards a solution of problem. Why we are doing the research? We are doing research to solve the problem. It may be the societal problem, the marketing problem, or industrial problem. Then it is based upon observations or experience and empirical evidences. Because in the research, we demand accurate observation and description. But friends, you know that research requires the expertise, that is skill. Skill is necessary to carry out investigation. We are investigating different things from the uh, market or the economy. It requires the skill. We are searching the related literature, understand and analyze the data gathered, and to search that related literature, to collect the data, it a time consuming uh, activity. In this situation, research requires the courage. So, friends, you keep in mind the research. What is the basic things and which characters are incorporated in the research? There are four things are there, or we can say that the goals of research. The first thing is that knowledge generation. Why we are doing the research? Research in the different fields. The knowledge gener generation is the basic aim of the research, the development of the theory. And remaining two things are there, which are the problem identification and the problem is ultimate aim of the research. Now, uh, I would like to tell you about the research design. This is the fundamental thing of success of any formal research project is required the sound research design. Without sound research design, we cannot reach up to our ultimate aim. The function of research design is to ensure that the required data are collected accurately and economically. If we have the specific or the proper design, we can collect the accurate data. Why research design is required? It required for regarding the what, where, when, how much, by what means concerning an inquiry or a research study constitute a research design. A research design, this is indispensable for a research project. However, it is not a precise and the specific plan, like a building plan to be followed without deviation, but rather a series of guideposts to keep on going the right direction. That's why research design is required. It is a tentative plan which undergoes the modification as circumstances demand. When the study progresses, we know that in the progression of the study, there are a number of issues we'll create. As per the issue created in our research, we can modify the research design. The new aspects, new conditions, and new relationships come to light and insight into the study device. You know that architects prepare a blueprint before they approve the construction. In the architectural plan of a building, architects take the decision as to how large the building will be, how many rooms will be there, rooms will be approached, how the rooms will be approached, and what kind of building material they intend to use for this architect prepare the plan. Perhaps all the decisions will be taken only by keeping his mind on the purpose for which the building will be used. You can take the another example of the army. Army also prepare the plan strategy before launching an attack. You can take the example of the artist also. Artist makes a design before he executes his ideas on the paper. Directly is not uh, working on the paper. Before that, he's prepared the plan. So also, as like the army, as like the artist, as like the builder or the architect, researcher makes a plan of his study before undertakes his research work. Researcher attempting to solve his problem. It should necessarily prepare the plan. Without planning, we cannot solve the problem. This plan is nothing but a research design. In this thing, number of Researchers, thinkers, they have defined the research, research design. Pauline Yang, according to him, 
Research design is the logical and systematic planning and directing a piece of research. Russell Lakoff, research design is the process of making decisions before a situation arises in which the decision has to be carried out. Professor General Def, the plan, it means design, structure and strategy of investigation conceived so as to obtain answers to reach research questions and control vaccine. With the, when we read these three definitions, what are the essential for research design? According to thinkers of the researchers, yes, our definitions gives us essentials of good research design. It is a plan that specifies the objective of the study and hypothesis to be tested. It is a plan of that. Research design is an outline that specifies the sources or types of information relevant to the research problem because different types of sources of information it includes into research design. Now I told that research is the blueprint which is specifying to uh, the method to adapt it for gathering and analyzing the data. It is a scheme defining the domain of general ability. That is whether the obtained information can be generalized to a larger population or to different situations. Friends, why we are preparing the research plan? Now we uh, studied the meaning of research design. The research plan, what's required of the research plan? Without pre-down plan, like a ocean voyage without a marine compass. Without planning, we are not entering into the sea. When we're preparing the research plan for the study, aids in establishing direction to the study and in knowing exactly what has to be done and how and when it has to be done at every stage. There are numbers, number of stages are there. After this introductory part, I will focus on that, those stages of research. It enables the researcher to consider beforehand the various decisions to make. What kind of decisions are uh, expected to take by the researcher? One is that, what are the objectives of the study? What are the investigative questions? What are the sources of data? Because data is, uh, different types of data is there. But from which sources we are going to collect the data? What is the universe of the study? We are uh, conducting the survey of one village without knowing the universe of that uh, village or the, without knowing the total population of the village and we are collecting the information, it will be right, wrong thing. That's why the universe of the study and sampling method, this sampling method is appropriate or not. For that, the research plan is required. Without a plan, the research become unfocused. Not only in focus, it is aimless empirical wandering. The researcher would find it difficult, laborious, and time consuming to make adequate discrimination in the complex. The research plan prescribes the boundaries of research activities. It is a boundary, it is a framework of entire research. And it enables the researcher to channel his energies in the right work. That's why we expect the research plan. Friends, there are different types of research design, but I would like to focus only three to four uh, kinds of research design. For example, the exploratory, formulative studies, descriptive studies, diagnostic studies, and experimental studies. The purpose of exploratory study to achieve new insights into a phenomenon. It is expected from the exploratory study. It is usually more appropriate in the case of problem about which little knowledge is available. If we now not, you don't have the full knowledge of that thing, the exploratory research is very useful. Now. In the descriptive studies, the aim of descriptive study is that portraying accurately the characteristics of a particular group of situation. One may undertake a descriptive study about the uh, works in the factory the age distribution of the workers, community-wide distribution of the workers, the educational level of the workers. Also, one may study the condition of work in factory. What kind of condition we can uh, uh, research? For example, the health of the workers, 
the safety uh, features in the factory, the welfare provisions of the workers. It means one may undertake to describe the organization of an industrial establishment or trade union congress also. In diagnostic studies, it refers to scientific differentiation among various conditions or phenomenon for the purpose of accurately classifying this condition. This uh, diagnostic uh, correspondence to the fact finding aspect of the clinical practice is particularly using for the fact finding aspect. And in experimental studies, before that, we should know that what is the meaning by term experiment? Friends, this term experiment is frequently linked with the laboratory. Experiment means the laboratory work. Investigator of any experimental method, if he is able to observe and measure the effect of manipulation of the independent variable on the dependent variable in a situation in which the operation of other relevant factors is held to a minimum. This is the very important uh, kind of the type of research design, which is the experimental studies. Now we are preparing the research design. It is the plan of entire research. But when we are preparing the plan, some questions are there. You have to answer these questions. And all answers of those questions are incorporated to the research plan or the research design. Number one is that, what is the study about? It means what to do, what we are going to do. Then why is the study made? Why you are doing this study? What is the scope? We are studying or the, we are doing the research, particularly on the village, at the SL level, at district level, state level, or the national level, or the international level. But the scope of our research, it is mentioned in the research design. The whole research is absolutely depend upon the objectives. Then which objectives are there? What propositions to be tested? When we are doing the research, the research problem, again, depend upon some concepts. Which concept we are, suppose, for example, poverty is the concept. But there are a number of dimensions of the poverty. Which concept you have used in this uh, poverty, it is necessary to mention in the research design. On the basis of measurement, the operational definitions are to be made. When or in what place will the study be conducted? What will be the reference period? Study can be due for one year, from last five years, 10 years, 50 years. Suppose we are doing the study for from last 70 years of Indian economy. We can classify those 70 years within seven parts. For example, the 10 years, one decade is there. But it, it should be mentioned there, how, what is the study period is there? What is the topology of the design? What kind of data are needed? Friends, some researches, research are there. There is qualitative data is required. Quantitative data is also be required. Our research is dependent upon what kind of data. We can collect the data from primary sources and secondary sources. But the whole research is dependent upon the primary sources or the secondary sources or the both. It should be clear in the research design. What is the universe from which sample has to be drawn? We are selecting the sample. Always student is saying that I am selected the random sample. But there is no meaning. When we are selecting the sample, it has separate uh, formulas. It has separate methodology. Which proper methodology you have used to select the sample, it should be mentioned into the research design. And then you can say that this is the sample size. Which techniques, which methods you have used for the sample selection and sampling techniques also. How the data are to be proce processed? Because we can manually process, we can use the different statistical tools. Nowadays, we can use the different uh, statistical packages, also, software, also, 
for example, SPSS, how we are going to process this data? What techniques of analysis are to be adopted? What is the significance of the study? We have chosen the topic or the research problem. Okay, but what the significance? Is this relevant to present era? Is this research problem is the, the, the major or the vital problem of economy? Then how do we are solving this problem with the help of research? It should be clear into the research design. Next is that to what target audience the reporting of the finding is means. A type of report to be prepared. We are preparing the report for the graduation level, post-graduation level, post-graduation at a professional courses. We are preparing this report for the MPhil dissertation, MPhil degree or the PhD degree or the any report which is sanctioned by the uh, NGOs or the government agencies. The research design is dependent upon the type of report to be prepared. The next is that what is the time period required for the each stage of research work? Some research work are time stipulated. Stipulated time is given. For example, six months or the one year, two year, six year, ten year. What time is expected? Within how much time you have to going to complete the research? It explained by the research design. What is the cost involved? Cost is the integrated part of any kind of research. That's why what cost is involved? These are the questions and researcher have to focus these all questions and it should be clear through research design. Now, uh, I will focus on the steps in preparing the research design. Friends, we are starting from the title of research. The title of research proposal should do not more than name of the topic. This thing you keep in mind. It should be so worded that it suggests the theme of the study. The title should be, we can say that self explanatory title should be there. It suggests the theme of the study. In selecting a title, researcher should consider two things. Which two things are very important when selecting the title? The title should not be burdened by prompts word and should not include terms of unscientific. Don't use unscientific terms in the title. Rhetorical, argumentative, argumentative, emotional. Don't use emotional words in the title. Don't use biased nature words in the title. Which language we are using in the title, it should be professional in nature, but not pendantic. We keep this first thing. And second thing is that title should not be too lengthy or too involved. Title should be specific to the area of study. What area we have selected for study, title should specify. Title should adequate for studies one approach. It must be noted that proposed study cannot completely be presented in the title. Sometimes some researchers uh, using four to five lines for the title, but it should be so worded that would give sufficient information about the nature of the study. So that's why I've seen that title should be self-explanatory. When we identify the research problem, research problem can be identified on the basis of previous study. For example, MPhil dissertations are there, PhD thesis are there. On the basis of work experience, we can search a research problem. For example, number of examples are there, but I would like you to few examples before you. A study of reporting system in industrial enterprises. This, this kind of research problem, we can search on the basis of work experience. A study of quality of work. A study of quality of employment. Nowadays, there is a lot of discussions are there, quality of employment. We are continuously providing the employment opportunities to the people. But what is the quality of employment? The basic issue of employment. We can search this kind of uh, research problem with the help of work experience. A critical study of consumer satisfaction to equity problem firms. The company or the industry selling, producing and selling different kind of 
uh, goods and services to the customers. But customers are satisfied with their uh, products. We can search. We can research on this. Thing. Consumer satisfaction. Consumers are satisfied with their products or not. This is again depend upon work experience. Some research problems are there. We can uh, take from observations and discussions of the research. We all are working in the educational field. Like to, yeah, I would like to give an example regarding the English communication of the village level students. We can compare this English communication of village level students to the urban students. Another thing is that state transport buses are more regular than the private buses. It may be the hypothesis of financial literacy, impact of demonetization because number of uh, policies introduced by the government. We can take this policy, impact of this kind of policies on whole economy for the research problem. From last two years, we are facing one very major problem, which is impact of COVID-19 on different sectors. It means this kind of research problems we can take through observations and discussions. To explain the earlier research journals, obviously the students using this kind of uh, method for selecting the research problem. For example, uh, some research journals are there, SBR is there, Economic and Political Weekly, Harvard Business Review, Aggregate Economics, Kurukshetra, Indian Journal of Personal Management, number of journals are there with the reviewing of those journals, we can uh, prepare the research problem. This thing is very important, which is investigation of social problems, particularly the research of social sciences depend upon the social problem. In our environment, number of problems are there. For example, suicide of farmer, study of illiteracy among Adivasi areas, study of health habits among villagers, increasing poverty, increasing unemployment, Inflation, living standard of the society, disinvestment, this kind of the social problem. Through this investigation, we can form the research problem. And next is that, which is the different functional areas. In different functional areas, we can consider the study of personal appraisal of engineering industry in Pune city, the role of trade unions, study of Attrition in IT industry, study of financial performance, inventory control, supply chain management, number of things are there. From those, we can formulate the research problem. When we selecting the research problem, because the research problem is the prime thing in research design. When we selecting the research problem, important points must be considered because Problem must emerge from students' mind. Problems never given by the supervisor. Student don't demand the problem to inform from the supervisor. It must be based in in-depth study. It should not be too broad. Always problem be useful for the society. When we are spending our time, our money, our energy on the research, it should be useful for society. It should add the body of knowledge. These things should consider while selecting the research problem. The next step in preparing the research design, that is a statement of problem. Number of times, there are different kind of arguments are there. According to some researchers or experts in the research, they are saying that always research, a statement of the problem should have the data support. And according to some uh, researchers and the experts, they are saying that there is not need of data support for the research, a statement of the problem. But we know that statement of the problem is not exactly the same as the title of the thesis. Sometimes student not differ the statement of the problem and the title of the thesis. It has a definite place in the introductory chapter and is an attempt to focus on clear goal. Friends, statement of the problem should primarily be an expansion of the title. The major question or statement may be followed by several minor questions or statements. The problem to be investigated should be presented clearly. 
statement should emerge from the need for the study. It should be object oriented. It should be eye view of the project. And it should be mentioned in the inverted commas because we are focusing on the particular statement. This is the next step of in the preparing the research design. I think in previous lecture, an expert has given the very nice ideas regarding the review of literature. Only thing is there, when we are preparing the research design, review of literature is the main part of that research design. From following studies, for, for example, the early MPhil, PhD, dissertation and uh, thesis related to topic, then various national international research journal, various government reports like Reserve Bank of India, annual report, we have to review these reports. Report from different bodies, like Maratha Chamber of Commerce, Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce, and industrial reports are there. Report of international bodies like IMF, World Bank, WTO, WHO, ILO, various scientific associations. We can get the literature from the libraries, internet, websites. Sometimes students is asking the question, how much review of literature should be there? Friends, there is no any specific limit. Which research problem you have selected for research? And from this review of literature, if you getting the proper idea, because earlier literature, research gap is expected. When we reviewing the different reports and thesis and papers, you have to search a research gap. We study already done by another person and same you are doing this thing. What's the difference with that? So in the review of literature, the basic thing is that search the research gap. And if the student is or the research is working on the research gap, it will be beneficial to the society. The next step in the research design is that data collection. There are two types of data collection, primary and the secondary data collection. When we collect the secondary data, the books, journals, websites, reports, previous research papers, magazines, number of documents are available in the library, number of literature available on the websites, we can use those things. In the primary data, observation is the very important thing when we collecting the primary data. Because which problem we have selected from our work conditions the researchers' observations are very important, but it should not be biased. It should be on objective level. We can collect the primary data through different sources, through questionnaire. We can mail the questionnaire, investigate. We can take the interviews. Through mail, we can collect the data. We can appoint the investigator. If the scope of research is huge, in, this, that situation, in that case, we can appoint the investigator. Through investigator, we can collect the primary data. We can take the interviews, the personal interview, the telephonic interview, scheduled interview, open-ended interviews. And nowadays, through internet, using of the internet, we can get the primary data. Next step in preparing the research design, development of the bibliography. This is the separate topic for discussion. So I would like, I don't like to uh, discuss on more discussion on this uh, bibliography, but we can present the bibliography with the help of different styles. Number of styles are available in the literature. For example, Harvard style is the American Psychology Association, which is the APA style, Vancouver style, MLA, citation style, which is the used for the Modern Language Association, Chicago Manual style, Royal Society of Chemistry style. You should read those style. And which style is applicable to our research? You use this kind of style for the research. Next is that the nature of study. This is the next step in formulating the research design. What kind of our study is there? Nature of study may be the case study. A study of impact of 
are a study of impact of area development program of sugar industry then a study of <clears throat> agri business management the comparative study may be there experimental study may be there sometimes there is a combination of these two types since the research study is complex the specific nature of study should be determined early and precise in the research design. if you are clear with the nature of research uh, nature of your study then there will no complication arises uh, when we are collecting the data from the economy then the objectives of the study objectives of the research study should be compiled in clear cut terms it should be clear it should be specific and precise the objectives of study always be in serial in points in order to importance which objective have more importance should be first that's why the serial point should be there objectives of the study should cover summary of the title of the research project in objective of the study it indirectly mention or to indicate the scope of the study drive the research project again one thing always or the one question is always in minds of the researcher how much numbers should be there in the objectives friends always object to the study should be minimum in numbers there is no any rule to take this much objectives but thing is that it should be minimum in number next steps which are incorporated in preparing the research design which is the socio cultural context of study in social sciences researchers they are working on socio socio economic study or the social culture socio cultural context if the problem under investigation relates to human being then it is necessary to ascertain the socio cultural behavior pattern it is necessary to understand whether the person are there divide or even withdraw from them completely unless this is ascertain it is not possible to draw useful conclusions in geographical areas to be covered it is essential to determine the geographical area to be covered in connection with the research study therefore the physical boundaries of the area are to be specified in the research design without mentioning the physical boundaries for geographical area you have considered for your research suppose you have consider a uh, geographical area considered as a whole state but it is impossible for each and everything from the state it is clearly explained through the methodology from the state how much districts or the tehsil you have considered for the research but what proper methodology you have used for uh, geographically considering the geographical area should be clear then period of time to be covered of time dimension of the study in this case suppose uh, in the historical studies it is necessary to determine the period to be emphasized uh, emphasized to that exploration of the problem will be made easier and quicker and this will help researcher to attribute the conclusions to the particular question there are number of dimensions of the study and in this step it is necessary to make certain assumptions in every study it may be the study from commerce management social sciences and languages where there are made these made they should be stated clearly sometime certain limitations may have to be imposed while making the study what kind of limitations are there the limits of the proposed investigation should be clearly mentioned in the research design suppose you want to uh, use new concept but it is necessary to define new concept precision in research can be obtained with greater care by defining even the common words in use for example the statement that the cost of living of the people in india increased by 10% during 2020 this is a statement 
were used the cost of living. But cost of living, this concept depends upon the meaning of the definition of cost of living. If the cost of living increased ten percent, in another way you can say that cost of living increases. It means degradation of standard of living. So when we using the new concepts in the research, it should be clear that the basis of selecting data, uh, the factors of time and cost are usually important consideration social research. It is more economical and efficient to be based based studies on samples rather than to study the universe. Uh, the statistician Margaret Haggard has suggested some criteria. As a guide in the choice of sample, when we are selecting the sample, according to him, sample must represent the universe. Because suppose we are uh, taking the sample from farmers, we are taking the hundred farmers for the research or to do the study, but we have to clarify that which hundred farmers we have selected for that. Because in the society, there is large farmers are there, medium farmers are there, which is depend upon the land, the size of land holding, small, marginal, landless. Which farmers you have selected for the study? It is necessary that sample must represent the universe. So you have to select the sample from large, medium, small, and the marginal farmers. Then the whole farmers will be represent the universe. Sample must be adequate size to produce reliable research. Sometimes in our mind, we are thinking, suppose we have taken the large sample, the results will be good. No, it never happened. Sample, adequate size should be there. How to choose the sample size print? There are a number of formulas are available in a research, number of methodologies, uh, different methodologies available, you should use specific methodology for selecting the sample size. It is again depend upon the nature of your study. What kind of nature you have selected, then the sample size depends. And the sample must be designed in such a way as to be efficient. The next step in the research design is that of study. When we are preparing the research design, suitable techniques for collecting the ne uh, necessary data is, is required. Uh, here also, the techniques that are normally used will differ on the basis of nature of the study. Suppose your study requires close attention of the researcher. Study when required the close attention to the researcher, the observation method will be used. If the subject matter for the study is uh, catered over the wider area, in that case, the questionnaire method may be used for collecting the required the data or the information. If the subject matter to be collected is spread in the limited area, then interview method may be used. Means the techniques of the study depends upon the nature of the study. Next step is that control of error. Control of error, which applies principally to experimental studies. Because the experimenter, he has to consider what variables are operating in a given situation. Particularly in the laboratory, it is usually possible to control all variables or sources of error. But in the social sciences, when we are working on the field, it is only possible to control key variables. We cannot control all variables from the society. Key variables we can control. In both the cases, the variables and their control need to be described. And in the research design, when we are presenting the different steps, the last step is the chapter scheme. Friends, in the chapter scheme, chapter outline, some of the headings may be neat to be changed as the investigation progresses. Suppose we are given one uh, title of the chapter, but in, when we are investigating the data, 
it is needed to change minor changes in the title of the chapter also and the final form determined by the nature of the study itself and by conventions uh sometime always this question is mind of the researcher how much chapter should be there it depend upon the again nature of study what kind of project report you are going to prepare depends the chapters but it is expected that always in the first chapter it, it usually introductory chapter and the last chapter will for the findings conclusion and suggestions in between first and last chapter the body of the research report which varies according to the study but normally there should be the five to six chapters are enough suppose you are uh, presenting our old research work within the 15 and 20 chapters it will converting as a book in the research in the project the chapters maximum five to six chapters are enough for research friends characteristics of good research design uh due to time constraint i would i don't like to explain the all the things which are the basic four characteristics which is the objectivity reliability validity generalization of uh, good research design but these four things we keep in mind the next and very important thing is that when we are chosen one particular research problem we are spending few months or the years to do the research but main thing always keep in mind what contribution you will give if your research is giving the solution to the society societal problem or the solution any kind of problem then it will be having the importance of the uh, research Uh, in the research design researcher should plan this is only an example this is not a proper research plan which things in, in my mind i am going to present before you suppose one activity what what what's activity is there initial reading collecting the working bibliography it is very important thing that researcher should read the different literature related to our research problem suppose total period for the research is allotted 2 years out of 2 years 6 months are required to read different kind of literature and search the research gap then collection of primary data if our research is depend upon the primary uh, data sources 9 months may be required after that analysis and interpretation of data three months may be enough then reporting which is the organization of report write up of the reporting it required the six months and presentation of the thesis if we are uh, presenting the phd thesis within the two year or the mrp minor research project within the two year we can classify this activities under this period this is the total process of research in each and every step we have the teachers from different experts in defining research problem review of literature formulation of hypothesis research design in that again sample design also different thing collection of data analyzing the data testing of hypothesis and lastly interpret and submission of report i think this is the for this is for the research design uh, i would like to say thank to our organizers who given me a nice opportunity to present my views regarding the research designs so thank you thank you very much thank you sir if you any questions in our पार्टिसिपेंट्स मध्ये अगर कोणाला काही शंका असेल तर हँड रेज करा जे आपल्याला सरांशी डिस्कस करते
हेलो सर कहीं हैंड्रेज नहीं तर अपन वोट ऑफ थैंक्स करें तो ऐसे सर सर धन्यवाद सर अपन अपने ये वड़ा बीजी शेड्यूल में तो न वेड़ा वेड़ का ढूंढना अपने ऐसे गड़े पार्टी से पंचल मार्गदर्शन के लाने ओवरऑल पूर्ण रिसर्च वर्ती जो टाइटल पास हूँ तर पूर्ण यात्री का नहीं कंक्लुजन परंतु तो अपन सगड़े इस क्वेश्चन वर्ती थोड़ा ऐसा थोड़ा कमी टाइम अन्य ये चार डीसी पुणे ये जब उतने आपला अन्य पूर्ण कमिटी जब उतने आपला आभार व्यक्त करते हैं धन्यवाद सर ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सर हेलो पार्टी